Hey guys, welcome to my March in London video. It's been a busy month. So far we've celebrated my birthday, Mother's Day and went on a few outings. I have recently started a full-time course so all the fun is really just for the weekends now. One of the places that I thought was worth showing you guys was the Lind shop in Wembley. This was actually my first time going there. It was a birthday treat outing. I got a box of pick and mix chocolates. They had a lot more choice than they do in supermarkets. For example, they had pistachio, matcha, popcorn and champagne chocolate truffles. They have nice boxes and tins if you're looking to buy a gift for someone. Also, if you sign up to the Lind member program, you get 10% off your first purchase. Mum, Arabella and I had the Mother's Day afternoon tea at Peggy Portion in Chelsea. It's really pink and pretty. I usually go to the one in Belgravia, but this one is more spacious and there are more tables inside. Both mum and I said that the afternoon tea was better than we expected. Mum really enjoyed the scones and I liked pretty much everything. The only thing that really made it a Mother's Day afternoon tea was the strawberry and champagne mum cupcake. It had a little heart with mum written on it. The atmosphere in the cafe was really calm and the staff were very lovely and helpful. I liked the table we got, there was lots of natural light and we had a nice view of all the cakes and cupcakes behind the counter. I also ordered an extra meal from the little lunch menu for Arabella. Arabella was really happy spreading cream and jam on the scones, but she had no interest in eating them. I noticed for some time now she's not really a cakes and pastries person. Arabella and I did some Mother's Day activities. I was really impressed by the Mother's Day range at Poundland this year. The balloons, bunting, canvas, gift bag and box were all £1. I also got the Lego Hot Ornament set from the Lego shop. I've never really been into Lego, so I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it. The heart is really beautiful. I hanged it on the wall in my bedroom. They give you more blocks than you need so you can customise it. However, we just stuck to the main design on the box. I baked my classic chocolate cake, which is a family favourite. It's gluten free as I use ground almonds as a substitute for flour. This is the lovely card that I got from Arabella this year. I finally opened the four in a row game that I got for Christmas. The good thing is that the chocolate discs can be refilled and bought separately. It was Arabella's first time playing four in a row and she did so well. She is only two and she kept saying more 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 at the end of each round.
I took Arabella to the Natural History Museum. It's one of my top three places to visit in London. The building is stunning both inside and out and you can find something for everyone. Arabella was intrigued by the moving T-Rex. She didn't want to get too close, but at the same time she didn't want to leave. We stopped by the Arts and Crafts station where we made a coral reef hat. The main gift shop is great, yes some things were obviously overpriced, but they did also have cheaper pocket money toys and treats, I got Arabella a pack of 8 tiny dinosaurs for £3. The cafes are also good, they sell these cute dinosaur lunch boxes for kids. Arabella's one had a sandwich, a pack of popcorn, an apple and a bottle of juice. This year for our Easter outing we went to have breakfast with the Easter Bunny at Hard Rock Cafe in Mayfair. We could enjoy unlimited breakfast for two hours. I went for the croissants and Arabella went for the berries. Although the food itself was nothing special, they really made an effort to keep the children happy and entertained. Even the colouring in sheets were a good idea. This lady made Arabella a dog balloon. She was really good. She also made some wonderful flower, butterfly and Easter bunny balloons. There was also face painting, dancing, a magic show, biscuit decorating and an Easter egg hunt. And of course, this is what we came for, the Easter bunny. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time.